progress so far. Um, I've still got to do a bit of cleaning, uh, but I have taken out all of the injectors and also the spark plugs and just generally tidied up things in here because uh, you can see the distributor cap is still on, but I've managed to get all of the extra bits and pieces out of the way so I can start cleaning it. And a bit of carb cleaner on there has helped clean things down a bit. Um, get a toothbrush in there, I think that's going to be my next little trick um, to get in there and clean it out, get into nooks and crannies. Um, the injectors which go in just here uh, were actually a lot easier to get out than I thought they would be. Um, what I've got is I've got them over here in a box, uh, which is a damn good idea, um, thanks to Wheeler Dealers for that one. Uh, basically these are the different points on the car, all the different injectors, and then you can see, what's this, I'll bring this over here a little bit, this is one of the injectors here, and they seem to be in pretty good nick. Um, let's see, I'll give a decent image of this. Uh, you can see that that's in pretty good nick. Um, see if I can get it to focus on it. Um, and what I've done is I put those in the plastic bags, and then stack them in here so that I know the order for when I go back in, although I think it's pretty straightforward anyway. Uh, but anyway, it protects them, keeps them out of the way. And uh, yeah, that's the progress so far. Next bit is to clean this bugger and then decide what I'm gonna do after that. Have update then. Um, well, I've cleaned everything out and it's looking a hell of a lot better. I mean, I know it's not absolutely pristine, but I'm pretty pleased with how that looks. Um, the top of the, the block actually looks a lot better. I've cleaned it all down. Um, you can actually see now it's proper clean <laughs> aluminium, a few bits, they're a little bit sticky but other than that they're pretty good. Um, down here um, is a, well, a lot better than it was. Um, it's looking still a little bit oxidised but a lot lot better and I don't know if we can see into there, um, probably not actually. Um, but these deep recesses seem to be okay. Question is, do I actually paint it now? Um, that's going to be a big question. I need to still get off these um, rocker covers. Um, that would be really good to get those powder coated up. Um, and um, yeah, and then obviously I'm going to have to order do I order a new pump or not? But I'm certainly going to need to new, new silicon hoses to go down the centre here um, because they were in the right state. So the other thing is, I don't know what that ZN means. Hmm, don't know. Has it got anything to do with being a DeLorean? I don't know. Um, who knows, maybe it's to do with the engine, number. I'm not sure. Right, next step in the uh, process, everything's uh, masked off, ready for the etching compound, uh, where the etching primer to be put on. I'm going to stick that down into here, and then followed by, because uh, I've got this nice and dry and clean now, uh, followed by um, some actual silver spray, high temperature silver spray. So I've got a couple of different ones on here. Uh, we've got this, which is the etch primer. I'm going to stick that on first, a couple of coats of that, and then after that, it's going to be this um, high temperature paint, which hopefully should fill up those voids and protect them in the future as well. Now that we've um, cleaned them all out and they're looking a hell of a um, lot now, given its first coat of grey primer as well, if you can see that quite well, looking a lot better already. Um, definitely looking a hell of a lot better than it did before. Um, hopefully that's going to start the uh, protection process. Here we are. Um, this is the coat of the silver aluminium and uh, we've given a couple of quite good coats on it. Yeah, there's still some, you know, it's not exactly the smoothest surface in the world, but it has covered everything up and it should prove to um, be quite effective, I think, as a barrier um, in the future. And it also makes the engine look a hell of a lot better. Um, next task, well, I've taken apart quite a few things, sprayed them up, as you might have seen in the pictures. I'm going to get these valve covers off now, um, take these off, which means I'm going to have to shift this compressor out of the way. Um, the control pressure regulator, which is that just in the silver just there, and a couple of other bits and pieces. So some photographs taken of this to remind me, and then get those taken off, and I'll cover that up to make sure that nothing falls down into there. And yeah, load more stuff off the engine.